Today I presented a talk on the emergent therapies for kidney cancer that included a variety of novel targeted agents that we hope will further increase survival and longevity in our patients that are fighting this disease. Um, it's been an exciting time, as many of you know. We've heard at this meeting uh, several new classes of agents which are likely to receive regulatory approval soon, including immuno-oncology agents. But my talk uh, focused uh, predominantly on the non-immuno-oncology targeted agents that are in development. Cabozantinib took center stage at this past ESMO meeting, and we've heard a little bit more about that at this meeting here, um, cabozantinib being an oral multi-targeted agent that inhibits not only VEGF pathways but CMET that was studied in a large phase three trial compared against everolimus as a second line therapy showing a statistically significant prolongation and progression free survival which was the primary endpoint of the trial as well as a response rate benefit. We have not yet seen the overall survival results but nonetheless the trial was positive there was a clear benefit and it's likely to receive regulatory approval period. There are some toxicity concerns. We'll have to see how that plays out. Um, additional emerging therapies that are a little bit earlier in development in the phase two setting we've seen over the past year have been combination studies. There was a phase two trial called the DART trial, which combined the Lantercept, which is an ALK inhibitor, a potential pathway of escape for angiogenesis, combined with the oral targeted agent Exidnib, and there were updated results um, presented at this meeting by Dr. Martin Voss of Memorial Sloan Kettering. Um, that's an exciting agent, and we'll have to see how that pans out in phase three uh, trials. Another exciting combination strategy is combining levantinib, which is an FGF inhibitor combined with everolimus. In a phase two trial was reported this past year. Uh, we saw some data here at this meeting, and we're looking forward to potential phase three trials of that in the refractory uh, patients. And then finally, an, an old agent, an old targeted agent, Tyvozinib, which as many of you know, was studied initially in the frontline setting. Um, although the trial was positive, it did not achieve regulatory approval in the United States. Uh, that drug is, is going to be evaluated in a phase three trial in the United States in the refractory patient population in hopes that that would gain enough um, enthusiasm, enough benefit to warrant a regulatory approval. So in summary, my talk today just highlighted some of the other non-immuno-oncology agents that are in development, several of which are getting close to submission to the FDA.